Hey guys, Lex here with another fragrance review. So what is it today? It's an excellent flanker that I really enjoy. It's Black Excess Lexi, released in 2012 by Paco Rabanne. So bottle design, how does this one look? I actually really like the bottle design, it's got the same sort of gothic thing going to it. Um, let me just adjust the camera here, there we go. Black Excess Lexi, you've got this little skull here, which is nice and fun for about five seconds, I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Information on the bottom here, the usual routine, you know, hard to see, pack or ban, you know, 100 fluid, uh, what, 50 mils, blah, 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 just in case you didn't know the size of it, if you're a fucking idiot. But yeah, not bad. Another thing I like about that it's kept as well is the classic Zippo lid. I love the Zippo style of the bottles, it just looks awesome. And this skull thing's fun, but it just gets irritating. Look at this thing. This thing isn't even coming off. You can't just pull this off. This thing holds the I can spin the bottle round by this skull. Look at this. And it still won't come off. Oh, so you have to smash the bottle. Also, I was supposed to get a free candle with this fragrance and I bought it, but it didn't have any left. That's horse shit. When someone says to me, oh, you got a free candle, I'm supposed to get a fucking free candle. Oh, we don't have any left. That's fine. Give me, like, some samples or something. I wanted the candle so bad. I got, like, Armani Code Sport, but that doesn't matter because I wanted the fucking candle. It's horse shit. Some of you saying, oh, you get, you get a free flake with this ice cream. Not <laughs> kidding. But anyway, yeah, so the spray in this one, just to move on, I love the sprayer on the Black Excess series. The sprayers are always really, really thick and good. Every time I move this bottle, this fucking thing rattles, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> it rattles. <laughs> Hold it still, there we go. No noise now. Anyway, back to the review. As you can see here, the sprayer's actually really good on this one. Nice whoosh comes out. The sprayer feels like a good quality sprayer. It's, you know, you can feel it going down. I love the sprayer. It's like the Dior one. You can spray a little, you can spray a lot, and it's just so satisfying pushing that damn thing down. You know? <clears throat> like when you find the clutter of it. Uh, no, mind. Uh, <laughs> so how does it smell? I love it. The, the smell is like um, sweet tinned pineapple. It's not like a Ventus, don't, don't go in expecting an Aventus clone. That's one of the reasons I love this. You got these Aventus clones in the market and they're not really, you know, they have that sort of cheap pineapple smell. But this doesn't try to be a Ventus, just tint sweet pineapple. It doesn't try to be a Ventus, it just tries to be Black Excess Lexi. It's not trying to be anything else. Not this Mont Blanc legend, super playboy, fucking Abercrombie Fitch, fierce pish, where it thinks it's something classy but it's not. Yeah. I hate that shit. This, but the thing is, this pineapple vibe is, it's funny because there's no pineapple in this, but what you actually are smelling is, I believe, some citrus. And the, re the weird thing is I tried the original, I smelled this and then I sprayed on some of the original and I had a sniff at that. And then when I went back to this after smelling the original, I could actually smell the citrus. And you can still smell it if you search for it, like... You can smell it's not really pineapple, it's more citrusy. But yeah, it does smell quite pineapple, like sweet synthetic pineapple. It smells great, that's all you go get from it. It's not it's not like Laphrodisiac, this has like, you know, tobacco -y honey, this is a lot more complex. In my opinion, this is the best from the Black XS line. But I do prefer Lexi just for the simplicity. You can wear this sort of with a suit even if you just apply it right. But this has that simplicity to it that just stands out. This is my personal favourite from the, this is the best from the line, but this is my personal favourite, being honest. Really good. So let's move on to performance. How does this one perform? Now I'm not sure about reformulations, it may have been reformulated and the reason I noticed this was the bottle design has changed, I've changed the bottle design in this and that normally means reformulation. Not necessarily, I did try some uh, and it was still lasted fairly long but and until I give it away when I can't be sure. So yeah. Performance on me anyway, I get around 8 to 10 hours longevity. And a good a good couple of hours of decent projection. It's not super beastly. It's not, you know, like Montal Blackwood, that heavy. Or, or Lapidus or anything like that. No. It's, it's heavy and noticeable. But it's not loud. And this is one of the reasons I like it. I think it makes a great clubbing scent. Is it's loud enough for you to get noticed. But it's not going to be like... Oh, you're wearing too much cologne, man. Um, yeah, projection's pretty good. Good couple of hours, a decent projection, and longevity is about eight to ten hours. Not amazing, 
but it's not bad. Uh, certainly an improvement over the latest version of the original. Um, so yeah, you'll get noticed with this one if you have performance issues with the original. Definitely give this a try. Moving on, so uh, how many sprays should you wear with this one? In fact, that's another thing I, I didn't cover in my last video. Age group, I'm a moron. Ah, oh, my apologies. Uh, that was a fuck up. Uh, but anyway, age group, just since we mentioned that. We'll go about sprays first. So how many sprays? I'm going to recommend four sprays of this. Average three to four, maybe four to five in colder weather. You should be fine. Um, four sprays average it out, adjust for weather. You won't have an issue. It's not super beastly enough that you'll be out overdoing it. So yeah. I'm not going to say where to spray it because you should already know that by now. Age group, I'm going to say 16 and up. Um, yeah, from the age of 16 upwards, I think you can wear this no problem. The reason I use age 16, well, you can start legally working and getting married at 16. So yeah, it's the perfect age <laughs> to start wearing cologne because you're you know becoming a man. And men need to smell good. So, yeah, 16 up, I think this will be fine. Perfectly, I think this is much better for teenagers, you know. You can even wear it in your early 20s, but there are better scents for a man in his early 20s to be waving. <coughs> Montel. <coughs> Avengers. <coughs> but yeah, this is still a good option. So, we've covered that. Uh, my mistake, I should have mentioned that in my last video. My apologies. But yeah. Uh, next up, season-wise, where to wear this one? I think this will work really well, uh, definitely in the colder weather. Um, winter coming up, this is a great option. I do prefer sort of warmer, spicier scents of winter, but this can still work. Um, yeah, it's got that aggressiveness to it, that sweetness to it that, you know, I think it would really cheer up. You know, you wake up, cloudy, snowy day, and it's cold, and you can't be bored. This fragrance can really cheer up your day uh, in cold weather like this. So yeah, spring I think is an excellent way to wear it. Summer, it's just really loud synthetic. Maybe a tiny, I mean summer I would even like, you know, tiny, tiny drop. And that's, I mean, it's kind of pointless wearing that for summer. They are better options for summer, so yeah, wouldn't really. Autumn, winter, this is fine. Season wise, you'll be fine with spring, autumn, winter, that'll be you. No issue. So. Just be careful walking through a park at night in the snow, because you will get raped by women. Yes, yes, insert the you took that from another video comment below. I know, I saw someone comment on a fragrance video a long time ago and I thought it was awesome. Okay, I stole it, big deal. <sighs> but anyway, <laughs> where can you wear this one? Uh, can you wear it at work? I think you could, um, but... It, it, it depends on you and your job and sort of your co-workers. If you've got a sort of laid-back boss, wouldn't worry, but, but um, it is a bit loud and synthetic. You know, it's like you're trying to go clubbing at work. You know, work is work, play is play. So I think this sort of trying to bring a play fragrance into the workplace might be a bit... Um, but if you want to try it, um, go ahead, but I personally don't recommend it. On a date... I think this will work well on a date. There are a bit more romantic options, but this will still work on a date. Um, it will still get you some delicious pintang pie. <laughs> yeah. Um, but there are more romantic and sexier options. Now, that where this really stands out, clubbing. Oh, yes. Clubbing. This is excellent for clubbing. Really good. And the reason I like the Black XS line is it's popular, but not popular enough. I mean, realistic, you may be, maybe even 1 in 20 guys, 1 in 30 guys wearing it as opposed to one in five with one million. So it's popular enough that, you know, you'll be able to get it, but it's not popular enough that everyone is going to smell like it. You know, you'll still get, you'll still stand out a bit different. So excellent for clubbing, cannot recommend it enough. That's, I mean, this was just made for clubbing. It's such a good scent for that. Casual clubbing. Let's move on to that casual wear. Going to the pub, going to McDonald's, uh, you know, you're going out for a burger or something like that. Um, even, you know, just a sort of casual casual meal at a restaurant. I think it's a what fine shirt, um, you know, a, a polo shirt like this with a leather jacket or a, a, um, a winter coat. Um, yeah, I think a what fine casual wear, no problem. Sitting around the house even, anything like that, it'll work fine. Formal event. I personally wouldn't recommend it for a formal event like a wedding, somewhere where you're dressing up. I wouldn't recommend this for that um, because, again, it just... Like I mentioned, it doesn't try to be super classy, it doesn't try to be super sophisticated. 
It's loud, it's synthetic, it doesn't try to be anything else, and this is why it wouldn't work in a formal setting. If you do want to stick to the black excess line, but you st you, you know you but you want uh, a wear it formally, I would recommend Laphrodisiac. I mean, just spray some of this on, I've worn this in a while, but just from comparison here, I mean, right off the bat, Laphrodisiac, just from spraying it there, I'm already picking up you know, the extra honey tobacco in there. It already smells much more classier. This smells almost like a, like a powerhouse. Like Hugo, imagine, like Kuros meets Hugo Boss meets Black Excess Lexi. Imagine you mix the three of them together. That's all what this smells like. It sounds crazy, but um, yeah, the Kuros, it's like Kuros meets Black Excess, but in a good way. Oh, screen. This would be a much better option if you wanted to wear a suit. So. This review is running a little bit long, guys. Um, I do apologise, so I'm going to wrap things up. Black Excess Lexi, what do I give it? I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Simply because of the fact that it was made to be loud and synthetic. It's met, it's, it does everything it says in the box fine. So, it's not a masterpiece. It's not terrible. 9 out of 10. I think it's a pretty good scent. Um, really, I mean... Yeah, in fact, I'm going to change that to an 8 out of 10, just because I would give this to the 9. Just thinking about this, this would get the 9. This gets an 8. It's still in a very good category, and it's still I still recommend it, and would happily purchase another bottle. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this review. I do apologise it ran a bit long. I know um, my last one did a bit. I'm still trying to work out, um, get back at the scene, and then, and as you guys know, the videos get shorter and stuff. Um, but yeah, me rabbiting on. Uh, uh, thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you have any questions about the scent, leave them in the comments below, send me a YouTube message, um, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, if you do not have a Google Plus account, you can contact me on Facebook, there's a Facebook link on my channel at the very top near the banner, uh, send me a message, I'll get back to you as soon as possible, and as always guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and keep on smelling flat.